Hi everyone, and welcome to this walkthrough video on scaling your managed Kafka with DigitalOcean. Today, we'll explore how easy it is to leverage scalable storage and additional brokers to handle growing data volumes and message traffic. From the Databases panel, you can click Create Database Cluster, which is the first thing we're going to do. We're going to create a Kafka cluster. I'm OK to leave my data center region as New York. I'll select Kafka. And in the Database Configuration section, I'll be able to select how many brokers I need, as well as my plan type and storage. The basic shared CPU has three brokers. If you need more than three brokers, you can select the general purpose dedicated CPU option, where you'll have three, six, nine, or 15 brokers to select from. I'll go ahead and select six brokers. I'm okay with this plan type. And down here is where I can independently add storage to my cluster. So I'm gonna go ahead and say, I need 800 gigabytes of storage. And because there's six brokers, it's going to snap to the closest multiple of that. So 840 gigabytes is going to be added to my entire cluster at a cost of $168. I'll scroll down. I'll make sure that everything looks good in the final view here. And I'll go ahead and select Create Database Cluster. As that's happening, I think it's important to call out some of the benefits of using DigitalOcean Managed Kafka. Firstly, it's very easy to scale. As you saw, adding storage or adding more brokers to your cluster is just a matter of a few clicks. Our flat rate starting price is $147 a month. And so customers avoid unexpected costs by paying for only what they consume and are able to add resources as needed. Of course, reliability is front and center as you're developing your applications. And we're excited that we support three, six, nine, or 15 brokers, which is important for high availability configurations in case of a failover. You can spin up a cluster in minutes directly from our UI as I've shown you here, or you can do it from our CLI or our API. Our goal has been to make managed Kafka as easy as possible for you. And we're excited for you to scale your Kafka with additional brokers and easily added scalable storage. Kafka clusters now scale up to 1.5 terabytes of storage, enabling you to future-proof your Kafka deployment and ensure that your Kafka cluster can handle large production workloads. All right, we're ready here with our Kafka cluster. Next, I'm gonna show you how to adjust the size of your cluster from the settings panel. Go ahead and click settings, and then you come down to the edit button for cluster configuration. If I'm expecting more traffic, I can increase my number of brokers, which will increase the reliability of my Kafka cluster, as well as improve its performance because now there are more brokers to handle traffic. Of course, I can always scale down if needed as well. Finally, I can adjust the storage size of my Kafka cluster based on the requirements that I may have. I'll click save. And what's interesting is that there is no downtime to my cluster as it's resizing. The cluster will remain up to continue to serve workloads and traffic. In the background, the resizing is happening. So I hope you've seen how easy it is to add brokers to your Kafka cluster or add storage to your Kafka cluster. And of course, to be able to resize your cluster as needed based on the traffic and your application requirements. Thank you so much and happy coding.